Hey guys, welcome back to Cool Gadgets, where we review the latest and greatest in tech products. I'm Shannon, and today we'll be taking a sneak peek at All Day Stay Glow Up Sponge, launching on Kickstarter in just a few weeks. Now, is this sponge as transformative as they say, or are all the pretty words about this sponge just for show? Let's get into it. So, what makes this sponge so special? Well, supposedly, all the materials were carefully selected to make foundation be applied more easily and completely on the face by minimizing how much of your makeup actually gets absorbed into the sponge. Also, all of these materials make it a lot easier just to apply the makeup in general. Now, at least that's what they're saying anyway. Personally, I'm really excited to test this out and see if it lives up to the hype. All right, so what we're gonna be doing for this test is I'm gonna put the foundation with the sponge that I normally use all over the right side of my face, and then we're gonna use the left side of my face to test out the All Day Stay Glow Up Sponge. And then we're gonna see which side looks better, applies easier, takes longer, has better coverage, all that stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be testing out this foundation. This is just a typical liquid foundation. Okay, just a couple of pumps there. So I'm gonna use my typical beauty blender here and you can see it's already wet, it's ready to go and you can see where it absorbs a lot of product previously. So I'm gonna apply it like I normally do and then we'll compare on the left side with the uh, new blender. So I'm just use a little bit of this. Yeah, applying pretty easily. I've used this a hundred times, so. Yeah, you can see right away, right through there, it's starting to soak up product already. I find that with a beauty blender, you'll get a lot of this streaking from time to time, so you'll have to kind of work with it. It does depend on the product that you use as well, but we'll see. I'd say with one or two pumps, it's spreading pretty well, but you can see I'm trying to work with it and really push it into my skin. This is still a better method, I think, than like a normal brush, but definitely takes a little bit more effort to get that nice finish. All right, so that's the finished side with the Beauty Blender. Pretty good, I would say. Let's see how it holds up though, close to the mirror. Coverage looks pretty good. I can see some points where it takes a little bit more work, like you can see where it settles into my hairs right there. And a little bit on the outside of my face, like right there where I have texture. Took a little bit more effort, but still love Beauty Blender and the coverage, but let's test it out in comparison to the All Day Stay Glow Up Sponge. So I really like this type of puff, the ones that have the little strap on the back because it makes it for easier application. I don't have to keep readjusting my hand with how I hold the Beauty Blender. Um, plus it's got this nice little groove here where I can focus on inner corners and you can change the angle based on your fingers. Right away, the way that it feels is super smooth. I don't know if you guys can see the texture difference there, but if you look really closely, the holes on the Beauty Blender are a lot bigger than the holes here. There's almost none whatsoever. So this one's absorbing quite a bit of products and the claim by this one is that it doesn't absorb a whole lot, um, but we're gonna test that out right now. So I'm just gonna start applying it and right away you can see how much product is deposited right onto my face. I can feel it pushing and smoothing out the foundation way more easily and it's taking a lot less effort for me to get the same amount of coverage. So almost half the work and I'm almost done. It's super bouncy as well. It's very springy. I can feel the sponge springing off my skin, which is really fun. It's also extremely soft and blends so, so well. Look at that coverage. You can just tell right away how glowy it is. I feel like not even just based on the foundation, but actually on the application, it's applying a lot more smoothly and it's becoming a lot more glowy. All right, I think that about covers it. Yeah, I think on this side it looks a lot more glowy as well. This side got flattened just a little bit, I think by the Beauty Blender. So I don't know if you guys can see that difference. And this is just so soft. So if we do a comparison, you can see where it does absorb a little bit of the product. Um, but when you compare it to the Beauty Blender where I had done the first side, the glow here just proves that there's so much more product on my skin rather than in the sponge. So I'm really excited to try this. I love this as a portable option. It feels really sanitary. It comes with a cute little casing as well. Um, not to mention it's super soft, super, super soft. And I love the application so far. 
So after testing out the conventional drugstore sponge versus the all day stay glow up sponge, I can definitely say that I think I'm gonna keep using this one. It was super bouncy, super soft. I loved the way that it applied the foundation and you can see how glowy I am as well. So I'm definitely gonna choose this one. <laughs> All right, you guys. So to better explain the composition of the All Day Stay Glow Up Sponge, we've actually cut one in half for you. So this layer right here, this thick part, is actually the spongy padding. So this is what makes it super soft. But the top part here, this whole coating is ruby cell. So the ruby cell is what is gonna be directly in contact with your skin. And this is the part that is so silky soft. This is where any sort of makeup that gets absorbed, but not into the whole sponge. There's a thin plastic layer covering the actual sponge part right here to ensure that your makeup doesn't get absorbed by the whole thing. So this is what's helping make that blurring coverage and not eat up all my makeup, which is really cool. So we're gonna cut in half the one that I used today so that we can see how it is absorbed. All right, so this is a really good explanation. You can kind of see right here, there's this big sponge right here, but the only makeup that was absorbed was just by the ruby cell and it was really minimal. It didn't even seep through to the bottom. So it's really just this top layer here. So you can be sure that when you're using this, you're saving a lot of products. So it's safe to say that this was a win for me. I am so obsessed with how soft that this is and how it applied my makeup. That was our review of the All Day Stay Glow Up Sponge. And of course, you guys can find the link to their Kickstarter page in the description down below. Don't forget to hit like and to subscribe. Until next time, you guys, I'm Shannon, signing off.